this sister's life needs to be made not necessarily as a, a memorial when she passes, but a living memorial, a, a living shrine. And we need a foundation of leadership so that young ladies can come and learn at her foot while she's still here with yeah. us. Pass that information on. Uh, we need publications. We need workbooks on what she went through and how she chronicled her life so that this type of sacrifice and heroism can be uh, reproduced at the drop of a mine. Mm -hmm. You know, we just drop the mine in on it, reproduce it, because a lot of our young people have this type of leadership capability but don't have the guidance. Mm -hmm. And so I see this as being a wonderful, wonderful shrine. And, and as I said about the bishop, we just have to thank God that people around her have enough sense to see what they have in their midst and chronicle it, make it happen so that people can be can share this with with her. I mean, we yeah. need to know this. That's right. You know, we knew of sister, but we didn't know the impact. Right. Looking at her life, we didn't know our sister was laying there on the Edmund Pettus Bridge. Mm -hmm. For me, and she know. never met me. You know, for others could be mayors and city council persons and voters in general. You know, that this is something that we have to bring to the forefront. This is the type of person we need in our role model point rather than LeBron. History. Yes. We need you know LeBron's a good brother. Mm -hmm. But this type of sacrifice mm -hmm. needs to be chronicled. Mm -hmm. This type of sacrifice needs to be dealt with. It needs to be uh explored and moreover it needs to be reproduced. In terms of um making this like a focal point yeah. of um of um what our children should be being uh, prepared or bred to do, mm -hmm. you know, this kind of work. You know, like you can teach a child to play basketball or you can teach a child how to stand up for their freedom or for their rights, mm -hmm. you know, for their interests. Everybody needs to do things in their own interests. Right. And everything we do tend to be in other people's interests right. one way or another. But this sister did something that was not... It was so in her interest that in being in her interest, it covered the interest of the whole. Right. And and that's the kind of thing that I think hmm. uh, Brother Maurice is alluding to that we right. really need to uh, look at. Right. And so, like, you got a, a, a sister like this, you have a female like this who stood up, you know, years and years and years and years ago when there was no support for females right. hmm. and said, no, I am. You know, so, like, mm -hmm. any young sisters now should be introduced to the mother, mm -hmm. you know, it's the same principle in, in Malachi where it say that where God mm -hmm. say, uh, uh, I, "Behold, I'll send you Elijah, and mm -hmm. he shall turn the hearts of the children back to the fathers." But the same principle: the hearts of the daughters got to be turned to the mothers, mm -hmm. you know, and the hearts of the mothers got to be turned to the daughters. If that does not happen, then what you produce is a curse. Mm -hmm. You, you mm -hmm. produce these afflicted uh, young creatures that, that that if they had some work, they could qualify to be. Mm -hmm human females right. but right now you see these creatures that's injured and damaged mm -hmm. pretty much beyond recognition Scar. yeah you know and you, you see them and it's like there's nothing nothing going on there you know and so then they they don't even realize you know they feel like they supposed to be in the mm -hmm. condition that they in and if they see sisters like uh sister robinson and they say mm -hmm. oh no I mean, we don't have to be like that right. look what we can aspire to to do and look at what we can aspire to be. They right. they see she when you, when they say um uh, when the perfect come the imperfect pass away, you you can have Lil Kim nothing against Lil Kim, mm -hmm. but you can have Lil Kim or what's her name Nicki Minaj, or you can have somebody like Sister Robinson. Right. Now which one Would will you benefit choose? you? <laughs> you know what I mean? And right. which one will benefit your daughter? You know when you have one, which one would benefit? Which one would you like to uh? see uh, in relationship to your mom, you know, mm -hmm. Nicki Minaj or Sister Robinson. So, yeah, that, these things is important. And so we need to really put our, uh, some energy into getting sisters down here. When you go to North Carolina, they have Dean Smith and they have the Dean Dome. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go to Pauley Pavilion in, in L.A., you have the Mary John Wooden uh, floor that memorializes the great accomplishment of a coach. Mm -hmm. But where's our sign saying Tuskegee, Alabama, mm -hmm. the home of Amelia Robinson? Right. Right. 
Right. You know, and then now when you say that, now you have to explain why she needs a home. Mm-hmm. So then that's an inroad to coming here. And this place, this is beautiful, but this needs to be on the pinnacle. It needs to be that's on right. the hill. That's right. Because what happens is we now, as a people, we put, put this on the back burner. And then we put other things on the forefront that don't benefit our people. Mm-hmm. See, Sister Robinson needs to be not from a from a point where we are uh, idolizing her, but we need to learn from her. Not only women, but some young men. That's right. Because our politicians are lacking 